Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in, I I in. No, I didn't stutter, the game's called I in, or double I N for short, or longer. Uh, anyway, this was developed and published by Epopia Games, and it's usually available for a fantastically small £4.19. So this is a pretty relaxing, um, until the last few worlds anyway, puzzle game in which we control a lost ball of solely goodness who takes over cubes to get to the portal to, well, just like the chicken, get to the other side. It has everything you'd expect from a puzzle game like this. There are many physics and puzzle-based challenges awaiting you, but overall it is a satisfactory and easy completion. Now, as for achievements, you'd expect from uh, other game devs to only get you up to level 10 and game complete. Ho oh, ho, but not this time. Uh, you have to work for your completion this time. All 80 levels need to be completed and they can be done in, depending on slight luck, 2 to 3 but no more than 4 hours. And that's how you get the full 1k, complete all the levels, happy days. Uh, one more thing, I won't be talking much to the video which I know will disappoint some and delight a lot more, um, <laughs> but I'll only be popping my big ass up when there's new things we need to get around. So, as I said, strap in for a few hours, let's get another 1k for you, shall we? And with that being said then, let's begin. So, again, very easy. We're going to start off with the flashing world on the left here. Uh, again, controls are very simple. Uh, but let me just, as we skip through the intro, you can press the Y button to hide the time if you feel a bit under pressure. But basically, you press the X button to get into a cube, move with the left stick, and then jump with the A button, and press the X button again to get out of a cube and to get in. That'll be a primary objective. So, as you can see, the portal is circled this time. Throughout the game, you're going to need to either get the triangle one in specifically, or the circle one in. So, it's always X to get in and out of a cube, always A to jump. And the two main things that I should say as well is that the triangle is kind of like a marathon runner, light as hell and about three stone when wet. And the circle stone is a bit heavier, so more of a power lifter, if you want to call it that. If not, just think of it as fat and thin. So the circle's fat and the triangle's thin. That's, yeah, that's pretty much the only way I can describe that one. Um, now, it's, again, if you, I mean, the one thing I should say is do not feel pressured. Obviously, I've replayed the levels quite a bit, so that's why I'm going through them quite quickly. But do not feel pressured. Take your time. You know, there is literally no need to try and flay it as much as you can. Obviously, if you die, you have to restart the level. Um, but obviously, the levels are very short, as you can see at the minute. With the tutorial is basically climbing up on boxes and jumping up. So, that is the main thing. Especially for the later levels, you know, later on. Just do not panic. And just enjoy your time as a lost cube. But again, we will be coming to that later. So, for now, let us go through the easiest of worlds. Of course, we're going to have, obviously, a lot of moving platforms and a lot of spikes and everything later on. But again, I will show you each power for Chunky Circle and Skinny Triangle in a little bit. But let's fly through it for now. So, on the next level, we are going to see the spikes for the first time. Now, very important to note that the triangle does not get hurt by spikes, whereas the circle does. So, if you get the circle on the spikes, the circle will die. But as I was saying earlier about dying, you can't. the triangle will always stay there. So, if you die with one cube, the level doesn't automatically restart. Um, if you do want to restart a level, if you've messed up or whatever, just press the left trigger and then right trigger again. That'll go into the previous level and then the next level. So just in case you want to do that. Um, but like I said, so you've got the triangle down. If you died here with the circle one, 
that's fine. Only the circle one will respawn and the triangle one will stay there. So that makes this game another bit of a happier breeze, to be honest. Uh, but that is, again, one thing that you need to think of is the triangle doesn't get hurt by spikes, but the circle does. Also, in case you haven't noticed by now as well, the triangle jumps, because it's the lighter one for whatever reason, it jumps that little bit further than the circle one. So, again, something else just to keep in mind, where circle, you know, our circle's about uh, 22 stones. So, it's going to be a little bit harder for our chunky nut, chunky nutted friend to uh, jump right here. So, again, just keep that one in mind. Let's get going on to World 2 then. So, here's something else to begin with. Circle, of course, being the heavy one, floats at the top. The triangle will sink, though. So, triangle doesn't get all the fun. It might be good on spikes, but it sucks balls under the water. So, again, that's another one to keep in mind. When you see any water levels, normally you're going to have to get the triangle to float on the circle. And that will normally mean having to go back and forth between the circles just to slowly drift it across. So... Again, something else just to keep in mind. So the triangle, of course, can go underwater, as you can see. But any holes, just make sure that it is on top of our chunky nutted friend right here. Because Skinny Bob cannot handle drowning. <laughs>
So on to World 3 then, and this is another very easy uh, game mechanic then. Obviously, as you can tell, it just jumps the um, cubes right over, but of course, as you'll be able to tell, the circle one, as I said, will take a little... It basically takes a little bit more, more of a Homer Simpson one, of course, this uh, this cube. So, of course, remember that the triangle will float up a lot further than our little Homer Simpson donut friend. And coming up to another game mechanic now. So you're going to see like these little lasers on the floor right there. So you can jump in it, but after about five seconds, your cube will explode. And as you can see right there. So uh, again, whenever you're, uh, whenever we see any lasers, just make sure that your cube is not in it for too long. Um, otherwise, it'll just reset and you'll just have to, you know, it'll be like a minor inconvenience of sorts.
So as we start getting into the later worlds and later levels, all I can say is, wherever I put a cube, as you'll be able to see with the circle one, I've done it for a reason. Um, so, so, for instance, this cube, we need to get on this raising platform, get to the highest uh, point that we can, and then jump down. 
because anything else we will not actually be able uh, to get to just about the underneath that we just did there. So, again, just bear that in mind. I may put some cubes in some pretty silly positions. Not not bent over next to the triangle. No, nothing like that, you filthy animal. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to put it in pretty compromising positions, but it's all for a good cause. And I don't even video it. But we're still on about the cubes, right? <laughs> red, red. Now on to world six then. Now this one uh, pretty stunned me, this mechanic first. I didn't know what the hell's going on, but basically the purple ones, we cannot go through with our little solely goodness ball of light frame. We need to go around these purple beams of light, but we can go through them with the cube. So that's very important. So any um, purple beams of light, remember we cannot go through it with our little cursor solely goodness. Uh, but again, we can get through it when we are inside a cube. So, uh, Again, something else to uh, wonder. If you do go through it, um, it's literally just going to basically put you back at, um, just back in the middle of the screen. So, again, it's a bit of a minor inconvenience, but it gets annoying sometimes. Thank <laughs> you. 
And another new game mechanic coming up. So we've got this orange beam of light this time. So basically when we are inside the cube and we go through this orange beam, it knocks the cursor out of it. As you can see, so we jump down and it knocks the solely goodness out of it. So again, something else just to remember and watch out for, especially if you're trying to get through to the other side like a chicken. Now, just on this next level, uh, we've got these same orange beams, but we also have a red beam at the bottom. The red beam, just like the red laser beams from earlier on, if you stay down there for too long, um, you will explode and die. And nobody wants to explode and die, because we are not ISIS. So, you know, try not to stay in there for too long.
Okay, so this next level is a bit of a pain in the ass, but let me try and explain well. So, as we start, quickly go to the triangle, jump off the very edge of the circle, and then you have to grab the triangle again to jump on the platform. So, hopefully I try to explain that as best I can then, but, yeah, as the triangle, you have to jump off the very edge of the circle. When it goes through the orange light, quickly grab the triangle and then jump onto the platform. So, again, that one took me a few tries. It's all about timing and it's bloody annoying. But hopefully, you can get through it a lot quicker than I did. Otherwise, it's not a bad set of levels for um, this next world. It, generally, it was only that first one which really gave me a uh, nut of butter ache, you know? Thank <laughs> you. 
And this next level, again, is one that you have to be quite quick with the timing. So, with the circle, it's not too bad. You just have to try and jump off the very edge. Again, if you want, you can just put the triangle down on the spikes and get the circle over if you're having trouble with that one. So, now we can just leave the circle here. But it is this triangle we need to get. Now, what we need to do is... Uh, Go to the bottom, jump up, quickly go out. As soon as it jumps down, again, you need to press the jump button, the A button, as it lands through the orange goodness there um, to get it going. Make sure as the circle not to get crushed, because that's a pain in the ass as well. But again, there's another quick bit of timing. You have to jump at it, you have to quickly grab it, and then jump it again. So, again, that one, like me, may take you a few turns, but hopefully, again, you got through it a lot quicker than I did. Now, for that last level we just done, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to unlock for players on the first try. Um, so, what we need to do is actually... You can either um, quit the game, come back to it, or... Like I said, like we are going to do is just um, finish the game, and then we need to quit out, completely quit out, reload and do that small last level again. So, luckily, it was one of the easier levels. Thank God. Uh, but, yeah, for whatever reason, you need to quit out and reload to do that last level. So... Well, let's just get these final ones out of the way, shall we?
So this next level again was one that took me quite a few attempts uh, and it was basically the very end so we have to uh, jump with the triangle enough to be able to actually get on top of the circle and I'll show you what I mean. So as the circle we're going to get, get to the top, get the triangle to move ahead and try and get the circle on the edge. Um, because we basically need it to, of course, to avoid the spikes. Put the triangle in the middle of the platform. Now jump down, quickly go to the triangle and jump. And that is what should happen. We should just about have enough momentum as the triangle to jump on top. Again, I, I tried loads of times and I always seem to hit the side of the circle. But try and get the, the triangle in the middle of the platform. That is what seemed to work well for me. So, well, this is the last level of the game now. Hooray! So there we have it then guys and gals, that is the game complete, but as you can see, for whatever reason, it still didn't count that we completed level 72, as you can see by the flashing orb. So, you can take a look, and for you, uh, hopefully, level 72 would have been complete for you, but it wasn't for me, um, and it has, it has happened to quite a few people. So, from here, what we need to do is just completely quit out of the game. So, go ahead and do that. In. Again, so no offense if somebody did have a stutter when uh, coming up with the game title. Hey, it's good. I like it. It it's, makes me makes me smile painfully, painful smile. Anyway, get back into the campaign now. Click on the circle, the very same circle that I am, where the the flashy ones like. Please love me completely. Press the left trigger, and that'll go back to level seventy-two. Complete level seventy-two again, and this is where we should get the achievement. So. That should be that then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend if it did help. Don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Patreon. And a big, huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the show on Patreon. You guys are legends. And thank you to everyone who continues to rap with me daily. Not rap, of course, because I am a British white guy and we just don't rap good. So, here we go then, guys and gals. Thanks so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.